going on, O'Doers? My name's Jose Ignacio. And here at Stealthy Wood, the last thing we want to do is be wasteful. One of the best things and the best ways to accomplish that anti-waste goal is to make sure we avoid having a bunch of products taking a valuable space and collecting dust in our warehouse. But at the same time, we don't want to remove those items from our product catalogs entirely. I mean, who knows? Maybe those Stealthy Wood jean shorts will eventually come back in style someday. You never know. You never know. Anyway, fortunately for us, we can actually keep offering those not-so-popular products to our customers without taking any warehouse space. How, you might ask? Why? With a dropshipping strategy, of course. With dropshipping, instead of keeping all of the underselling products on hand, we can have our vendors and suppliers pack and ship those goods directly to our customers whenever they're ordered. By doing that, we'll never have to handle those items ever again. Our vendors will take care of all the hard work for us while we reap all of the benefits from those sales. Not only that, but new products will also be less expensive for us too, since they won't require any investment on our part because they are already going to be sold. Now with dropshipping in place, we can offer a much wider variety of products than we would have been able to if we were responsible for storing everything ourselves. Think about it, O-Doers. Dropshipping frees up warehouse space, increases our product catalog, decreases our workload, and helps us save money, and it helps us avoid MLMs, oh doers. All while continuing to pile up money. There's really nothing but, at this point, upsides with dropshipping. So, enough chit-chat. Let's get right into it, oh doers. Business bro time. Okay, so to get this dropshipping tutorial off the ground, we'll first need to activate the dropshipping feature. Makes sense, right? Now, to do that, we actually need to go into the purchase application up here to configuration and settings. Once inside of there, scroll to the bottom into the logistics section and check off that box next to drop shipping and save. Now we're all, we're all set up. Alrighty, now that we have our drop shipping feature activated, it's time to apply it to one of our products. So you can see how a typical drop shipping flow works. Now lucky for us, Odoo makes that process super simple and super easy. So let's go do that. Okay, so from here, we're actually gonna select up here products and products. Now let's select the first one that met my eyes, pedal bin. All right, so when you're on a product form that you wanna to configure to use drop shipping, you'll need to do a couple things. Now first, you'll need to head on over to the inventory tab. You wanna select drop ship under the bottom left over here on operations and routes. All right, we're all set up. Now with that option checked, Oda will know to use the drop shipping route whenever a customer orders this product and we don't have any of the product in stock. But now the question is, if we're going to use a drop shipping route for this product when we're out of stock, what vendor are we going to use to ship it directly to the customer? Well, that my friends is why we need to hop into the purchase tab over here and assign one. So let's add another one. Let's assume Lumber Inc is there too. And their price is actually very favorable. It is $4.20, $4.20. Now this is the second thing that must be done on product forms in order to enable proper drop shipping flows. Now to assign a vendor, we just hit that. We added a line and we've done our purchase price and everything, but what if we have multiple vendors like you see here with multiple prices and different names and different locations? Well, when it comes to drop shipping, Ode will go with the first vendor on the list. So be sure to keep that in mind and place your desired drop shipping vendor at the top of the list. And you can do that by just dragging and dropping over here from the left, just putting that up there. Maybe you want the cheaper one. Maybe you like Azure Interior. Maybe you like the number 420. That's all you need to do. And once you've got the dropship route activated in the inventory tab, just like we did, and the vendor, you're actually ready to go. And since we're all set as well, it's time to see these in action. Okay, so let's navigate over to our sales app. So we're gonna go into there, and we wanna whip up a fresh sales order using the product from earlier. So let's pick a customer right here. Now from the sales dashboard, we've already selected new, and we're gonna pick someone like Susie Customer from earlier, because we like her. We're gonna put that pedal bin over here, and we're just gonna buy one of these, and then we're gonna confirm it. And this is actually really important. Now normally when I click confirm, we'd see a delivery smart button up at the top, which would indicate that a delivery order for this product has been generated, but right now we aren't seeing that. Instead, the only thing we see is a purchase smart button up at the top right corner. And that's since we have this product being drop shipped to the customer directly from the vendor. So a purchase order has been generated that we'll need to confirm and validate in order to complete the flow. So let's click into that, oh doers, and give it that a look. Now this takes us straight over here to our generated purchase order for the sales order we just created. That's pretty convenient. Alrighty, now let's actually confirm this order. And when I do, 
Now we have a dropship smart button over here at the top. And as usual, let's click on that and let's check it out real quick, oh doers. All right, this ladies and gentlemen is our drop shipping order, which is nicely indicated by this little DS that we have over here in front of our order. And that's kind of convenient. Now inside of these tabs, operations, additional info and everything, we'll find all the information related to the original sales order, which is always nice to see. And up here at the top, we can also see in our case, the source document, which is the purchase order that we were just looking at. But let's go back over here to detailed operations real quick. All right, everything seems to be in order here. So we're actually going to click on set quantities over here. And once that we do that, we wanna make sure that it knows that we have done one units because that's what we needed to match. All right. Now that we're done with everything and it's the same as the ordered quantities, let's say the vendor has confirmed the dropship. In that case, we're gonna validate this real quick. And boom, we're done. Now you'll notice that the status of this dropshipping order is done, oh doers. And if we were to hop back to the original sales order, which can be done via these tasty little breadcrumb links up here, which today is pumpernickel, you'll notice something else has happened. It's a brand new object in here. Can you spot it, my vigilant doers? If you said, there's now a dropship smart button up at the top of the sales order, go ahead and cancel that optometrist appointment because your eagle eye vision is outstanding. Yes, we now have a dropship smart button available on the sales order because we just validated that sales and dropship order moments ago. And if we click on that dropship button, boom, it completes the full circle. It brings us right back to our recently completed dropship order which you can tell is all finished up because it tells us everything to that done status. That's it, people. That's how easy it is to set up drop shipping with Odoo Sales with just a few, like what, a couple quick configurations, like 10 minutes of your time. You can have your vendors taking care of all the shipping and storing for you. That way you can free up space in your warehouse, save some money, expand your product catalog, start an MLM, everything you wanna do. All right, Odoers, thank you for everything. Please remember to check out all of the other tutorials, documentation, all the nice tutorials with yours truly, and I'll teach you as much as possible. Have a great day. I love you. <laughs>